Hello again, I hope you're well. It's been a while since my last video and I apologise for that. It's just since the end of lockdown here in the UK, which happened at the very beginning of August, things have just been crazy. We have been to weddings and events and evening functions and we've stayed away and it's just been unceasingly busy. It's as if everyone's trying to make up for lost time. And uh, the return to pre-lockdown life almost has been exhausting. Anyway, I will cover what I've been up to in my August vlog. But before any more time went by, I did want to share with you a new bag and a wallet that I got from Fendi. I have always loved Fendi and I feel like I've fallen in love with them all over again. The quality of their leather is just superb. And this is uh, a bag and a wallet that I got from Bista Village Outlet Mall here in the UK. It's actually in Oxfordshire, not far from Oxford. And uh, when I was younger, <laughs> I used to go out there for balls. The Bista Ball was really amazing. But anyway, now it's a massive shopping centre. And uh, they do have some really incredible stuff from time to time. Fendi doesn't make any um, merchandise for outlet. It's all product that would originally have been in store. So I bought it an old season. It's new, to new, but not new season. And um, I got a really super wallet and I got both of them for under £1,500, which for uh, a very substantial designer bag and a very lovely purse or wallet I was really happy about. Anyway, so I'm dying to share those with you and I will cover the rest of my Bista Village trip in another video. So here is the characteristic yellow Fendi bag and I will show you how it came packaged. Drawstring bag which Louis Vuitton seems to have got rid of. It's a very simple bag in fact, but I absolutely love it. The colour is miele or honey, because of course it's a, an Italian brand, but um, I am absolutely loving this and uh, we're going to something tomorrow where I'm going to wear it. So that's another reason I wanted to do the video today too unbox it quickly because look how it's got so much packaging it's a tote it's a shopper i guess it's called a, the fendi small shopper it's an a-line style and the color is the honey color this i'm wearing on my right wrist the um emma's leather bracelet in the color gold so you can see how much more honey how much more gold this is than the um the emma's gold and it comes with a, um, a strap, an adjustable strap, as far as I remember. But um, I will unpackage this and show you the whole thing. But I just wanted it comes with all this packing inside it. And it has a leather interior. Anyway, I will get this unpacked and then I'll show you what it's like when it's got all its packaging off. And in case you're interested, here are the details on the bag. I hope that's focusing. Small tote and the colour is Miele. I think that's focused. And uh, on the other side just Fendi Roma. So here it is unpacked. So the A-line silhouette, it has feet. It's in this beautiful grained leather, Celeria. This is their Celeria leather, their, or their saddlery line, which they began in 1925, I hadn't realized. There's minimal branding on it, apart from these, these big Fs, one the right way up, the other inverted. But to the untrained eye, I think that just looks like a a nice adornment. It doesn't necessarily look like a heavily branded bag. It says uh, Fendi there and that's really the only place it says it apart from inside. The handles are, they remind me a little bit of the Lady Dior except they're not um, as uh, firm as those and they are a true sort of, they're rounded, uh, a sort of elongated 
circle and they've got the beautiful celery stitching, celery stitching on the um, on the handle, that large hand done um, stitching. And the leather and the smell of the leather is, is just fantastic. Um, inside, it's got the, um, the buckles for the straps. It's got a sort of magnetized stud which close, closes together quite firmly. You actually have to use a little bit of force to, to pull it apart. It has the beautiful label inside. I hope you can see that. Again, that's the Celeria label underneath the zip that just says Fendi Celeria, it, made in Italy, I think. It has a very generous zip, zip pocket, which has the... Um, and a beautiful sort of mink coloured lining, which is leather, and two slip pockets on the on the other side. Can you see that? So it's a really wide strap with seven holes for adjustment, and it's got the lovely swivel hook on the end, which says Fendi on each hook. Fendi on each hook. So here's the bag on me. Worn as a shoulder bag. It's a crossbody bag. So I guess it looks really casual that way. Feet. All carried. With the strap on. And this is this hardware is so easy to use, so easy to take the chain on and off. And then just as a, um, a handle, a top handle bag, which I think is actually my favourite. But what does it for me is the colour. I just adore the colour. And I love top handle bags. I think they're actually my favourite, they're fa my favourite kind of bag. And these handles are just so pretty with their, uh, this, that's uh, saddlery stitching. Did I tell you the, the logo's only on the, the one side? The other side is plain. I haven't taken the um, plastic off this side because this was the buckles were all wrapped in plastic so measurements so it this is um 30 centimeters long or 12 inches long it is um 21 and a half centimeters in height or eight and a half inches and the depth is also generous 12 centimeters or five inches. So it is actually quite a, um, a generous bag. And this is a small size, it also comes in a large, which is significantly bigger, but this is perfect for me. And uh, perfect as an everyday summer bag and um, perfect as a, um, you know, for quite a nice event as well. Very everything that I need for the day. I hate being too constrained on size, actually, if I'm out for the in entire day. So a bag I have always loved is the Louis Vuitton Miller bag. And I'll insert some pictures of that. But I saw one the last time I was in London, just a couple of weeks ago in Selfridges, in the most beautiful colour, um, although not as nice a colour as this. 
and it was the small size, it was the PM size, and it was a lot more expensive than this. I think it was 2,300. But the um, MM size, which is comparable to this one, is 2,800 in, uh, yeah, 2,800 pounds sterling. Actually, I got that really wrong. It's 3,250 for the PM and 3,600 for the MM. As I say, the Louis Vuitton Miller bag is stunning. I love it. It does have more inside the bag. The Louis Vuitton Miller bag has um, a central compartment. It has the central compartment and two compartments either side, much like the Montaigne, actually. Um, but... Um, I, I don't necessarily need that. And given that this was 1,190, um, you know, significant saving. I don't think this is ever going to go out of style. It is just so simple. And Fendi do not manufacture for outlet, unlike Coach, for example. They, it's their true merchandise that comes to the store. And um, this is just such quality leather, this beautiful pebble grain leather which is almost like the uh, Togo leather in the, in the Hermes. At the same time, I picked up this, another beautiful drawstring pouch, so cute. And I got this. So this is the Peekaboo wallet, and this was at the outlet, and it was 230 pounds. So it has the, um, the same catch as the, um, the peekaboo does and it, it just you just twist it like that to open the wallet and it has the most beautiful pink leather lining it is all leather for 230 pounds it says fendi roma there just under the flap fendi on the buckle also and um, again, you can see the fantastic stitching on this. So this is a, a little coin purse and inside it says Fendi Roma again. And then it has, um, opens that way and folds out again with this gorgeous pink lining. And again, it says Fendi made in Italy. And it has a um, place for cash, for bills, and it has just three credit card slots. So it's not overly generous on the credit card slots. One, two, three. And you put the, the cash in front. Um, but this little guy is tiny. <laughs> It is, I actually hadn't uh, measured it, but it is, so it's almost four inches in length, nine and a half centimetres in length. It is three inches in height, or seven and a half centimetres in height. And the width, it is a little wide actually. It's one and a half inches wide, or four centimetres wide. Look, it's lovely pink lining. So I was absolutely thrilled. It doesn't quite match the, but I still think it looks really pretty together. And um, the pink looks absolutely lovely with the, um, the flashes of pink on the side look absolutely lovely with this sort of mink colored lining. So this was 230, this was, 1,190. So altogether, I think it was actually a, a pretty good deal. And um, the quality, as I say, all leather, all leather, leather lined, and this stunning colour, which is so hard to find, sort of a real, a true light caramel, honey, runny honey, no, set honey colour. Um, yeah, so I'm thrilled and this fits in absolutely everything because it is so, it is so small. But yeah, it was a really great day shopping and I will share the rest of it in another video. So until then, take care. Bye.